I'm Jessica Simpson. This degree of weight loss is rare. Can you believe that's what we thought was fat? I wish I could explain it. I wish I could say for me that it's gotten better, but it still remains the same. I literally can't imagine the mental turmoil that you must have had to go through. It's a diet. That is Makes you mean. I have not eaten since I melted some turkey and cheese. Started a spiral and I couldn't catch up with myself. I was just like spiraling, chasing my tail. Um, Fans are just as worried about Jessica Simpson as they are for Britney Spears. Just like Britney, Jessica went through hell during her career. She was shamed about her weight and forced to cope on pills and alcohol. While Jessica has been able to sober up, it seems like the years of fat shaming still haunts her. So let's get into it. The public has been worried about Jessica Simpson for a while now. I don't think she needs an introduction, but Jessica is a singer and actress who turned herself into a businesswoman. Even though she has been incredibly successful, she has had her ups and her downs, and for a while now, the last couple of years, she has raised some eyebrows with her Instagram posts and her sponsorships. Specifically, it seems like there's something off with Jessica, and that's why people are worried. Let's go through a couple of moments that have happened these past few years which make me question whether she's okay like this one ad she did for flonase where she was slurring her words this report reads that jessica sparked concern amongst fans who feel that she may appear fidgety and she's slurring her words she posted this on her instagram story and she's holding a bottle of the allergy relief nasal spray in one hand and flails the other around while seemingly reading a script in front of her. And while there's nothing specifically wrong with what she's doing here, I think it's her demeanor and how she's speaking and people just don't think that Jessica seems very present. To me, it's interesting that she's taking this kind of sponsorship in the first place. I mean, it seems like a random product for a celebrity to endorse, which I mean, we see Khloe Kardashian and that headache medicine it's constantly on my twitter anyways let's go ahead and watch this ad from jessica together hey guys climate change is impossible to ignore especially for my friends in la we know so many of us were affected by the wildfires a few years back and now rising temperatures are always in the back of our minds what many people don't realize is some of the other effects of rising temperatures affecting us right now like the increased pollen count and the longer, harsher allergy seasons. Pollen count and climate change are both invisible monsters we are all fighting. I have been fighting my allergies with Flonase for years now, and even my kids use children's Flonase. This report writes that while some Instagram users expressed confusion and even embarrassment over the paid partnership in the comments section, many focused on what they described as the star's painful performance and odd demeanor. One person writes, I hope you're okay. You seem to be on something. Definitely odd behavior. This person writes, the photo looks okay. The stories are questionable. Eyes everywhere, fidgety movements. Another person writes, OMG, her commercial was awful. She slurs her words and she's reading cute cards omg something is up with her which maybe she just didn't really care about the sponsorship you know she's just reading the ad and that's all she has to do but there is something a little bit lackluster about it this flonay scandal kind of reminds me of the pottery barn situation because she was doing a special for pottery barn kids and she talks about her children's bedroom and how they are sponsored by pottery barn even though there were some comments about the bedroom's decorations most of the comments were about Jessica's concerning behavior, which included slurred speech and the inability to focus. They also commented on her frail appearance, concerned that she maybe lost more than the 100 pounds that she was set to lose. Now, I don't like people focusing on her weight, which has been a struggle throughout her career, but one person writes, is she okay? Please tell me I'm not the only one that hears her voice being totally slow. Is she okay? She can barely talk. The slurred speech was one thing that fans commented on, as well as her her weight saying that she looks thinner than ever frail and fragile i hope that she's okay so let's go ahead and take a look at this ad that has everyone concerned on the internet hi i'm jessica simpson and welcome to my daughter birdie's room designed by pottery barn kids and a little bit of me i was really drawn to the geometric prints and the color scheme this really to me is birdie's personality 
thank you everyone for checking out the adorable room of Bertie Mae Johnson. Now, I am surprised that a lot of people aren't bringing up Ozempic because so many celebrities have been taking Ozempic to become thinner. But this person does say that she looks like she's on serious speed diet pills. Another person asks, are you OK, girl? It's giving sickly. Just making sure you're OK. I love you. Another person writes, this makes my heart hurt. She looks so sick. Now, Jessica did respond to the concern with a video that raised even more questions. But before we take a look at that video, let's look at the caption. This article writes that Jessica said, quote, I needed to be in my studio today because this is where I ground myself and heal. She wrote that under a video of herself singing in the studio before going on to reference people's comments and judgments that hurt deeply. She said the most important thing I've learned through the last five years without alcohol being a guard for escapism is that I can and always will get through it. I am capable of pretty much anything I care enough to put my mind to. Jessica went on to say that she feels compassion for the opinionated hate that some people can effortlessly just blurt out with such intensity on social media, which I do like, I, I totally understand like the hate that's not cool, but a lot of times, like this is a, a way for some people to deflect like real concern by calling it hate. We've seen it before on YouTube. Now this is clearly a sped up video, but let's see how Jessica heals in the studio. <laughs> So Jessica is just doing her thing in the studio and if that helps then she should go and do that because she's had a lot of struggles in her life and even though I don't want to focus on her weight I do want to talk a little bit about this because this has been a driving force of her like mental health issues for years now and she's actually written about it in her book and her plan to lose 100 pounds which some people could look at this and call it inspiring but some of her friends say that her 100 pound weight loss doesn't seem healthy jessica has sparked a lot of concern from fans over the past year with everything from her slurred speech to her dramatic weight loss causing a huge debate on social media and now one of her close friends has reportedly also weighed in saying that her 100 pound weight loss which friends and fans think is much greater is actually unhealthy for the naturally curvy star. According to Radar Online, Jessica's loved ones are extremely worried about her shrinking frame as she continues to lose even more weight. Quote, her clothes hang off of her and her cheeks are sunken in. She doesn't even look like herself anymore. Another friend added, Jessica's naturally curvy, so it doesn't seem healthy for her to be so thin. Jessica needs to get some new friends because if those are real friends, they would not be going to the media, they would go and speak to her herself. So Jessica first embarked on her weight loss journey following the birth of her daughter in 2019. She then admitted to weighing more than her husband, Eric Johnson, at the time. Quote, I was much heavier than my husband who played in the NFL, so that pregnancy really did me in. Although Jessica admitted to having a tummy tuck in the past, this time she reportedly went about it in a more natural way with more controlled eating habits and some exercise. At first, her friends and fans alike were full of praise when the results results started to show, but then their praise has turned into concern. It appears that Jessica has taken things too far and seemingly lost way more than 100 pounds that she initially said that she did, which is extremely obvious in the pictures posted to her social media over the past year. Jessica Simpson here is celebrating her 100 pound weight loss. It's important to know that um, this degree of weight loss without medication, procedures or surgery is rare so it's important for the general public to understand that here in the article she does state that she attributes her weight loss primarily to working with a nutritionist and having an appropriate diet is obviously a critical foundational component to massive weight loss however just dieting alone even with a doctor's help typically does not result in this amount of weight loss so if you're not able to achieve 100 pounds with just dieting or working with a nutritionist please know you're not alone whether Jessica is being fully honest about her approach or not, that's not for us to judge. Yet people are being nasty on social media. And when she talks about the hate, I get it because she posted a photo in black and white and people were commenting, please start eating again, have some fries. Another person wrote, eat a taco, eat a cheeseburger, gain a pound or two, which I think is so nasty. It's giving like 2005, 
bullying Britney Spears. Like, this is not the approach that we have for someone who could potentially have an ED. I mean, the way that the doctor was describing it, it sounds like he was kind of walking around the idea. Because there is so much talk around Jessica's weight, which, you know, is part of the media's problem, but also part of her own story, because she's talked about her weight publicly time and time again. She has now confronted this you know, recent concern, this wave of conversation around her body. Jessica Simpson slams public scrutiny about her weight, quote, it doesn't need to be a conversation. She says we need to focus on our mentality about even talking about weight. I think it doesn't need to be a conversation. She says she's empathized with other women who face scrutiny for their weight because she has been every size. I've been seeing this picture floating around the internet on TikTok with people saying, can you believe that's what we thought was fat? Like that is the craziest thing about this. Guys, that's not not the craziest thing about this. The craziest thing about this is that this was headline news. Like, yeah, we called the wrong people fat. Our standards were ridiculous. Okay, why does it matter so f***ing much what somebody's body looks like just because they're a celebrity or a woman or a person you've seen before? Like, that's the crazy part here. The crazy part is that we are valuing women's bodies, women's smallness so much that when somebody does gain any weight, even if that is like such a negligible amount or it's just that she's wearing thick belts or whatever this is, it's reported on. In an interview about her weight, she was quoted saying, I wish I could explain it. I wish I could say for me that it's gotten better, but it still remains the same. And I think that speaks volumes to the mental health implications of having all the scrutiny for so many years of people calling you fat when you really are not. Jessica says that the ongoing scrutiny of her body has been very confusing for her children, who don't understand why the public eye has been so harsh on their mom's appearance. When Jessica was speaking about her kids, she was quoted saying, they're like, like, I don't understand this. Why don't they just say you look pretty, mom? You look pretty. She says, I tell my kids how you feel about yourself is how you should feel. You don't dress for anybody else. You don't try to look like anybody else. Somebody can be inspiring something, but you truly don't have to be any other size. And her kids are old enough to see that there's something going on. Like if she's getting these headlines, I'm sure it affects her mood and she's talking about it. And it's probably a weird experience for these children to see their mom have to struggle with this so publicly, though she says she tries not to complain about herself in front of them. Quote, I try not to diet. I try not to do any of that stuff. They just like seeing me living a healthy lifestyle. That's why I quit drinking. I was like, okay, they're going to pick up on everything I do. So I've got to be a good role model. You were under a lot of scrutiny for any evolution of your everything. body, which was so unfair. Never. How did you navigate that? And you pass that on to your kids because now things are changing. Well, now my kids see me being still scrutinized. Um, and it's very confusing to them because they're like, well, I don't even understand yeah. this. Like, I, why don't they just say you look pretty, mom? You look pretty. And I'm like, honey, like, I really don't, I, I wish I could explain it. I wish I could say for me that it's gotten better, but it still remains the same. And I don't know why, but it's okay because honestly, for the Jessica Simpson collection, it's been a beautiful thing because I have been every size. I do understand everybody and every woman and their mentality and how deserving they are of yes. fashion and style. And it's just such a natural thing for me. So I have to like just, I, I t you know, I tell my kids how you feel about yourself is how you should feel. Now, that's great that she has a good mentality when it comes to handling all of this press, but people have asked her if she's been using Ozempic because she's had such a drastic weight loss. And we've clearly seen a lot of celebrities use it. I mean, I live in LA and even like normal people who are just around, out and about, they're on this medication. So definitely these celebrities are taking advantage of it, but she claims she's not. Now, I don't know if she would be honest about this, whether she was taking it or not, but when she was asked in July of this past year, she said, oh no. So she's not on the O word. She said she didn't take any fast track ways to lose weight. She said it's all willpower, noting that while the unfortunate comments on her body did hurt, she doesn't let the negativity derail her. She said, no, I'm too old for that. I am too connected to myself right now. Jessica, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I hope that literally every single person that sees this tags her in the comments. So she does. It absolutely breaks my heart that we all believe that this was fat in 2009. I literally can't imagine the mental turmoil that you must have had to go through having to deal with this being normalized as quote unquote fat when it is so far from anything unhealthy or even close to fat. You're an absolutely beautiful human and from this millennial heart to yours, I hope you know that now. 
Jessica has been very open about her life and her issues with alcohol. She shared a throwback photo of when she was deep in her addiction, and I think her alcoholism plays a big part in how she looks at her body today. She wrote a really nice caption, and this was ultimately to promote her book, but you can see that she doesn't seem really happy there, and I mean, she doesn't seem recognizable either, so I think there's just different stages, and clearly that you know her weight has been an issue for her, so I think probably people claiming that she looks unrecognizable now is triggering. She wrote, the drinking wasn't the issue. I was. I didn't love myself. I didn't respect my own power. Today, I do. I am wildly honest and comfortably open. I am free. And even though I am concerned with how Jessica is now, everything that she's saying seems like right on track. So it's hard for me to wrap my mind around whether to be concerned or to feel bad for feeling concerned. But again, we've seen her struggle with this and her alcoholism and the media for so long. Taking a look back on her history, there's no way that she's like fully okay after everything she had been put through. It's had a glitter cup and it was always filled to the rim with, with alcohol. It started a spiral and I couldn't catch up with myself. I was just like, spiraling chasing my tail um and and that was with the well, that was with alcohol i was like every day I, and i would say it openly to everyone i know yeah. like i know i'll stop soon like i'll cut back you know but it took for me to cut back like i'm an all or nothing girl <laughs> just realized that I had to surrender. Like I had to, it was time, like I had to give it up and I was ready. Jessica said, quote, I was killing myself with all the drinking and pills. Giving up the alcohol was easy. I was mad at that bottle and how it allowed me to stay complacent and numb. In the past, she said that part of the fascination with her weight may have come from her turn as the iconic symbol Daisy Duke in the 2005 reboot. Quote, Linda Carter warned me on the set of Dukes of Hazard. She was like, I will always be Wonder Woman and compared to Wonder Woman, and that's what you're doing here as Daisy Duke. Just know the words of Daisy Duke will follow you the rest of your career. And probably because it was like such a, you know, she didn't wear a lot of clothing and it probably like stuck with her because she looked so good in that movie that people are going to compare that version of herself to the older version of herself. It's a diet. That is it is not the diet. It is. Listen. It makes you mean. I have not eaten since I melted some turkey and cheese. It makes her mean because she's hungry. Oh hungry. Baby Let's end this video by talking about Eminem because we recently spoke about his feud with Christina Aguilera. Well, he actually made fun of Jessica Simpson in his video, We Made You, and he actually used Trisha Paytas as a Jessica dupe. He actually said that he was conflicted about doing the Jessica thing because we were going to have Jessica in the video. When I say, Jessica, sing the chorus, we were going to have a chick that looks like Jessica Simpson come out and then sing the chorus. And for whatever reason, he decided to get someone on, you know, more of a plus size so that it, I guess they could make fun of Jessica being like heavy. And they used Trisha Paytas, which now Trisha Paytas is like a huge, you know, YouTube celebrity, internet sensation. So it is interesting to see, but it's kind of sad how Eminem used Trisha to make fun of Jessica. Are you being serious? God! This woman assaulted me and I want something done about it! My God! I'm sorry. She's a beast, man! What's your guys' problem around here? Nobody even pays attention to the artist! Eminem was wrong for that, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. There's a lot of conflicting thoughts here because we've got the people who are concerned and then we have Jessica saying that she's okay. Anyways, she's brave for everything she's gone through and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.